here's the top tip for you cheese makers out there. One thing you can do to give yourself an idea of when you're going to be cutting the curd is to do what's called a flocculation test. The flocculation point is when the milk first begins to gel. So it will change from the liquid that we have here to a gel form. And that transition period can be easily measured by just putting a jar lid on top of your milk and spinning it. When that jar lid won't spin, it's begun to gel. Now I added the rennet at about 1 o'clock and so I've noted that time and I'm going to stand here for the next 10 to 15 minutes and periodically check the flocculation and when that's um, happening I'll then for a Gouda multiply that time times 3 so say it took 10 minutes I would multiply by 3 and I would be cutting at 30 minutes from when I added the rennet so I waited 10 minutes flocculation I would multiply 10 by 3 and that's the overall coagulation time the time it takes from when I add the rennet to when I want to cut the curd that time of flocculation should be somewhere between 10 and 15 minutes. Uh, that way you'll get the best result of uh, rennet activity. So you'll get the uh, way to drain off the curds at the right rate and you'll get the right texture in your cheese. So we will uh, be checking on that. It's been 15 minutes from when I added the rennet and as you can see the jar lid just stopped being able to make a turn uh, when I um, spin it with the same force that I used earlier right after we added it you could see it just spinning around multiple times this shows that the uh, milk has just begun to gel so that was flocculation point of 15 minutes and that indicates that I've got the right amount of rennet um, rennet is an ingredient that isn't always going to be added at the same rate so the flocculation test helps you adjust your rennet amount. If this had taken only 10 minutes, I may use less rennet the next time I make the cheese. Rather than 10 drops per gallon, I may use 9 and see what I get. If it's taking longer, then I may up that amount. And that's uh, something I do all the time when I make cheese. I never really add the exact same amount uh, month to month. I'll, I'll be making minor changes in that. It really depends on the milk composition. But another important aspect of this flocculation test, which I've done and now I'm going to cover up the pot so the milk will stay warm, is that if I, I'm getting that time which I like, which is right around 15 minutes, give or take a couple minutes, um, then I'm pretty happy with the amount of rennet I'm using. Now I've got that time, 15 minutes, so I'm good to go. For Gouda cheese and other cheeses of similar moisture content, sim similar hardness, like cheddar, like uh, Tom style cheese, I'm going to be using uh, a multiplier. I'm going to multiply 15 times 3, and that gives me 45. 45 minutes from when I add rennet to when I expect to cut the curd. I'm still going to check the clean break and the firmness of the curd right around the 45 minute time but now I know to make a cheese of that kind of moisture content I need a curd that's that's going to be ready in 45 minutes if I'm trying to make a very hard cheese like a uh, Alpine style cheese a Gruyere a Beaufort an Emmentaler or a Grana cheese like a Parmigiano or a Romano I'm gonna use a multiplier that's lower like one and a half or two and when we make our Vermont Herdsman here at Parish Hill Creamery, it's an Asiago style cheese that we make. We use a multiplier of one and a half. That would mean that I'm going to be cutting the curds in almost just five more minutes. So it would be one and a half times 15 would give me 22 minutes. So it's 22 minutes from when I add rennet to when I'm going to start cutting the curd. The curd's very soft. Sometimes people are surprised by that and they're like what you're going to be cutting that curd and I'm like yeah I have to because I'm going to want to cut that curd just very small pieces and the only way I can do it is to work with a soft curd and that curd is going to drain the whey very rapidly and help me produce a hard cheese. The cheddar, gouda, tome those are kind of in the middle in terms of curd firmness 
and then we're going to head out towards cheeses that have very firm curds uh, and uh, that are made from cutting a very firm curd, not firm curds, but from a curd that you're going to cut the curd out of. And so cheeses like brie, camembert, soft blue cheeses, you're going to multiply your 15 minutes times six to get uh, coagulation time from when you add rennet to cutting of, of an hour, an hour and a half. Uh, six times 15 would be an hour and a half. So anything an hour or over, you're heading out towards making much softer cheeses. And this is because the curd has the ability to hold on to the moisture a lot better when it's firmer and you've waited a longer time to when you're going to cut the curd.